Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hobby Lodge. I thought I would do a really quick video on a visit we had yesterday. And whilst I'm talking about the place we visited, I'll do my usual thing of playing some footage over the top so you can see what we saw while we were there. So this was, and by the thumbnail you'll know, uh, the Micro Computer Museum in Ramsgate. So if you're down that way, lovely seaside area, you know, if you're around that place, uh, definitely go and check this place out. So um, obviously I did a video a couple of weeks ago of RMC's The Cave and the Arcade Archive. If you've not seen it, it will appear probably up here somewhere. And this is somewhere like very akin to that, although different in many ways, um, you know, lots of um, micro computers and consoles of retro kind to, to go and get hands on and play with. Uh, so yeah, we went down there, I went with a friend, I went with my friend Martin, you know, you get two Martins, what can I say? Uh, he's also a YouTuber and an author of children's books. Uh, and I will put his channel links and details uh, below. Um, go and check him out. He does some cool stuff with the VIC-20. Uh, he does like, right, he's writing a, a, a shuttle program to control a NASA shuttle for a moon landing and stuff like that. Doing some really cool stuff on the VIC-20. But he also writes some wonderful books for children, which kind of brings science and fantasy together. Uh, in a really cool way so yeah go and check him out i'll put his links below please do so uh yeah anyway so we went there took the kids his kids and mine uh, and we went and walked around the museum and when you first go into this place it's very it feels very old school but old school in a really nice way of course it's a retro place but everything in there is retro the desks the walls the cabinets the, <laughs> the whole atmosphere in there feels very old and very retro styled uh, and it's a it's a jumble of all sorts when you first walk through the door. I remember seeing the cabinet behind the lady at the till who was kind of taking the entrance fee. Uh, there was an old Tetris game. There were tapes on the walls. There were cassettes. There were Vectrex boxes. There were all sorts of old laptops, like really, really old laptops that you just wouldn't, you know, you haven't seen for donkey's years. It's just a random assortment of gear when you first go in. Uh, there was a big TV with a couple of games consoles on. Turn to your right. There was a Commodore uh, Plus 4. Uh, there was a, uh, a Vectrex, which is awesome, uh, and a few other bits and pieces. And that was just as you came in the door there. So you paid your fee. I believe it was £5 per person. Uh, and I think if you had more than four, I think we got five people in for the price of four. So there is obviously some sort of discount there you can have. So, yeah, you know, well worth it. Well worth a fiver of anyone's time for sure, the amount of stuff that was in there. Uh, as soon as you go in, they kind of just let you know, look, have a walk around see whatever you want to see if there's any systems aren't on or connected or you need help with give us a shout and we'll come and help you and also ask questions about the equipment that's in there um but then you're pretty much just set free set free to go off um now a bit different to the rmc cave in that not everything is there to be played with you know lots of stuff is behind glass cabinets um and it's there more from a museum point of view right so it is more about seeing the systems reading the little plaque about them and, and going around they had lots of lcd games and some of the handheld stuff and lots of old micro systems that you could see but you couldn't play with but at the same time there was plenty you could play with as well there was ps2s snezzes commodore 64 spectrums bbc's uh ataris all sorts arcade stick set up there were uh, i think there was an amiga set up as well there was there was plenty of systems as you walked around the space isn't huge um but the, what they've got they've made the maximum use of so it is kind of rows of desks going around the outside of a square sort of room and then in the middle you've got a big display cabinet which is double-sided with everything on show and then at the end of the room uh, which hopefully you're seeing all of this in the footage i'm showing you there's a really big display area with computers back from you know early 80s right the way through to to, to now so uh, well not now yeah, you know, 10 20 years ago maybe um but you know commodore pets in there you know some of the very early macs in there uh early pcs and stuff like that loads and loads of stuff all including boxes and and just bits and pieces of sort of memorabilia from the period um obviously early consoles and some really obscure stuff uh, and then sort of toys and handhelds and all this sort of loads and loads of stuff so you could spend a good amount of time in there just reading about each one and, th and covering the walls in most areas was details about what these systems were when they were released what their main function was some information about them and hopefully you could then go and, and play with some of it as well so yeah you know stuff that we've been and done before but it was nice to have something that maybe isn't well for us it's so far away you know ramsgate is more like an hour and 
10 minutes versus maybe nearly three hours to get down to the cave although you know i do want to visit the cave again very very soon um but yeah this was this was a nice little space like i say you're not going to spend um too long there i think maybe give yourself a couple of hours you could definitely do a couple of hours there but you could probably also get around it in an hour depending on how much you want to play on the systems and want to spend time with them um but definitely well worth a visit really nice people that work there and run it obviously it has volunteers it does a lot of it uh, and obviously the money you're paying to go in is to keep the upkeep of things going um but absolutely lovely people that ran it no qualms that whatsoever they welcomed my children um and let them play on anything they wanted to play on um but if i remember clark was really getting into um space invaders on the commodore uh, plus four uh i was finally getting a real good hands-on with a vetrex oh man that is going to be the holy grail i think for me is getting hold of a vetrex for the lodge um i don't know if i'll ever get one but um yeah one day one day maybe uh, one will make an appearance in here uh, because every time i get a chance to play with one i, I want one more <laughs> so, yeah let's see let's see if that ever happens but yeah you know a really great place really enjoyed it and hopefully um i've given you some sort of thought to maybe go in yourself if you're down ramsgate's way if you're down in the southeast of kent try and get over there and uh yeah visit the micro computing museum because uh yeah it was great fun and i really enjoyed my visit there anyway thanks very much for watching like i said it was only going to be a quick video on this one um but uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time all right bye bye